Hello and welcome to St. Jude's Children's Liturgy of the Word for May 9th. It's the sixth Sunday of Easter. Now let's stand up and sing our opening song. Who am I? You are mindful of me. That's you. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Peter arrived, Cornelius greeted him. Then he kneeled at Peter's feet and started worshiping him. But Peter took hold of him and said, Stand up, I am nothing more than a human. While Peter was still speaking, the Holy Spirit took control of everyone who was listening. Some Jewish followers of the Lord had come with Peter and they were surprised that the Holy Spirit had been given to the Gentiles. Now they were hearing Gentiles speaking unknown languages and praising God. Peter said, These Gentiles have been given the Holy Spirit, just as we have. I am certain that no one would dare stop us from baptizing them. Peter ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And they asked him to stay on for a few days. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. The response is, the Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing a new song to the Lord. He has worked miracles. And with his own powerful arm, he has won the victory. The Lord has shown the nations that he has the power to save and to bring justice. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. God's saving power is seen everywhere on earth. Tell everyone on this earth to sing happy songs in praise of the Lord. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. A reading from the first letter of John. My dear friends, we must love each other. Love comes from God, and when we love each other, 
It shows that we have been given new life. We are now God's children and we know him. God is love and anyone who doesn't love others has never known him. God showed his love for us when he sent his only son into the world to give us life. Real love is not our love for God, but his love for us. God sent his son to be the sacrifice by which our sins are forgiven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. May the word of God be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart, as we say, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have loved you, just as my Father has loved me. So make sure that I keep on loving you. If you obey me, I am I will keep loving you, just as my Father keeps loving me, because I have obeyed him. I have told you this to make you as completely happy as I am. Now I tell you to love each other as I have loved you. The greatest way to show love for friends is to die for them. And you are my friends if you obey me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hi, boys and girls. In today's gospel story, we hear Jesus talking to his disciples about what he expects them to do after his death and resurrection. Jesus starts by saying that he has loved the disciples the same way that God loves him, that God loves Jesus. Jesus then tells the disciples to love each other as he has loved them. Well, in other words, God first loved Jesus, and then Jesus loves the disciples, and then the disciples love one another. Sounds pretty simple, right? But what happens if the disciples run out of love and don't have any more love to pass out? Well, this is why it's important to notice where Jesus gets his love from, because he didn't create it by himself. Instead, Jesus receives love from God. This is important to remember because humans can run out of love. But God does not run out of love. God always has more love to give us. So if we keep turning to God, like Jesus did and taught his disciples to do, then we'll always have more love to receive and then always have more love to share with each other. And that's the good news for today. Now, let's pray. Okay, now let's stand up and profess our faith. Let's answer yes, I do to the following questions. Do you believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth? Yes, I do. Do you believe in Jesus, the Son who suffered and died for us? Yes, I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit who guides us to do the right thing? Yes, I do. Oh God, grant that we live a good life with your Son who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. 
Now let's offer a prayer to someone who needs it. Close your eyes tight and think of that person. Say a little prayer for them in your heart. And together, Lord, hear our prayer. Our time has ended for today, so go forth and announce the gospel.